dear students welcome to the online classes of animal biotechnology and today i will discuss about three main uh, organizations related to international trade so first is get that is general agreement on tariff and trade second is wto that is uh, world trade organization and third one is wipo that is world intellectual property organization and finally i will discuss about the trips that is trade related aspects of intellectual property rights so first get so get is actually is general agreement on tariff and trade so how get was formed actually the economic pressure after world war ii pushed countries to impose trade barriers uh, to divert national demand away from imports and towards domestically produced goods so after the world war second year was a recession so uh, country imposed the trade barriers and uh, various country cannot do trades easily so get watch uh, uh, actually formed in 1947 in geneva switzerland and it was designed to provide an international forum that and encouraged free trade between member states so there were 23 member states at the time of formation of get so the main objective of uh, get was to reduce the barrier between various country for the trades so actually trade barriers are two type one is tariff based trade uh, barrier and that is uh, due to the change of uh, monetary value uh, country to country like uh, the value of rupee is quite different from the value of dollar second barrier is non tariff based barrier that is uh, depends on the quality and quantity of the products so uh, the quality of uh, the product cannot be equal in each and every country so the objective of get was to reduce these barriers for the international trade further its objective was to provide equal opportunity to all countries in international marketing to increase the demand to minimize the tariff to provide proper solution to the disputes and to ensure the better living standard in the world for every country whether it is poor country or developed country now if you will talk about the get in in context of india actually as you know india was the uh, founding member of the get and india has often led group of less developed countries in subsequent rounds of the multilateral trade uh, negotiation that is called mtnc under the aegis of get so uh, actually the indian pharma industry uh, actually it was on, only after get trade uh, rounds that indian drug industry was allowed to patent its product so before get agreement uh, indian uh, com uh, companies particularly the drug companies were not able to patent their product but uh, the price of the patent was very expensive initially so get strengthened the india's pharma sector uh, they give some uh, money for the establishment of various pharma industry in india and thus they improved the research bases in india now get an indian agriculture sector actually get and indian agri sector is divided into three main phases so get is helpful in the market access domestic support and export competition so if you will talk about the market access in this all the get members were asked to replace all trade barriers and allow indian suppliers into their country so thus the tariff was reduced from 24 to 36% get also supported india for the domestic uh, cultivation of agriculture product so as you know india is a big uh, domestic market and due to its population so get also helpful in the domestic support and it also helped india for the export so indian agriculture industry has always been strong so india used to export many developing as well as underdeveloped countries now world trade organization 
actually in 1995 the get was uh, succeeded by the another uh, uh, trade organization that was called world trade organization and wto has initially 153 members and india being one of the its founder member the head office of the wto is located in geneva switzerland and uh, in, nine, in 2016 there are 160 members of wto so wto is actually is an international body designed to play the role of watchdog in the international trading so it can act as a watchdog for the control of international trading so here you can see the members of uh, wto the green color are the countries which are permanent member of wto and here in the, some countries are in yellow color these are the uh, accession uh, countries or they will get the permanent membership shortly now the function of wto so it can administer uh, wto trade agreement forum for the trade or uh, negotiations it can handle the trade disputes as i already discussed it is the watchdog of international trade it can monitor national trade as well it can give technical assistance and training for developing countries Uh, related to trading international trading uh, it can cooperate with other international organizations and provide technical assistance and training for the developing countries now the difference between get and wto actually get was the ad hoc and provisional but the wto agreement is permanent and get was the contracting parties and but the members of wto are permanent and get allow existing domestic legislation, uh, legislation to continue even if it violated the agreement but wto doesn't permit any violation of agreement among the members of wto and get is less powerful and dispute system settlement is very slow in the case of get but wto is more powerful mechanism faster and more efficient and difficult to block the ruling so wto is the uh, main uh, trading organization nowadays around the world now i would like to discuss about the wipo also so wipo actually is world intellectual property organization and it is one of the specialized agency of the united nations and wto was created in 1967 to encourage the creative activity or intellectual activity to promote the protection of intellectual property throughout the world and nowadays uh, wipo has 193 members and uh, it was become the specialized agency of un in 1974 so the agreement between un and wipo notes the mm -hmm. article one that wipo is responsible for promoting creative intellectual activity and for facilitating the transfer of technology related to industrial property to developing countries in order to accelerate economic social and cultural development so wipo is the main organization to promote the intellectual property or to transfer the technology from lab to the field now services of wipo so wipo there is a wipo academy and actually this is a distance learning program of the wipo Uh, you can sign up for the distance learning or face to face courses all around the year we will provide access to the world intellectual property information you can search technology brand related information in the database of the wipo wipo deliver global services for the protecting intellectual property and it shapes international ip rules for the changing society actually wipo has established the wipo net that is a global information network and this wipo net uh, project seeks to link over 300 ip offices and in addition to providing a means of secure communication among the all connected parties wipo net foundation for wipo intellectual property services now finally i would like to discuss about trade related aspects of intellectual property right that is trips and uh, 
uh, as you know the ipr are the right given to person over creation of their mind so if you have intellectual uh, creation and ipr can give specific rights to that person these exclusive rights are given for uses of certain time period so the objective of trips is to encourage and reward the creative work to encourage the technological innovation it also help in the fair competition and it helps consumer protection and transport technology protection so technology transfer from lab to uh, field is also uh, comes under the trips right so here uh, actually the trips can cover the various field of the intellectual property these are copyright and related rights trademark geographical indication industrial design layout design patents and undisclosed information so these seven uh, fields are actually covered under the trips so that's all about uh, today's lecture and hope uh, i have covered each and every aspect of your syllabus and uh, now it's time to uh, revise your uh, syllabus and you can go through the every lecture which i have provided you through whatsapp and youtube and all the best for your examination and thanks for your attention during all the lectures thank you thank you very much